All right, everybody say peace out to Big Boy. Big Boy, you out of here. We already checked. Come on, Bruce, you the last one. I'm kind of late with the video, but everybody else said peace out to Big Boy already. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. We got to go. I let the pups sleep out last night. They laid on that. They did pretty good, so, yeah. Woo, YouTube, YouTube, what's good? It's your boy, 247, one half, exotic French Gucci. Hey, look, I'm back in the building, outside, with another one, so, man, look, let's get right into it. So, if you watched my last video, then you would know that I'm at the airport about to drop Big Boy off. He's going out to Florida. So, today, this video, I'm going to do this video on how to fly with a puppy or dog or pet, whatever you want to call it. So essentially the first thing you want to do is book your ticket. You don't really have to worry about the dog's fee or the dog's ticket until you actually get to the airport. So I guess it's important to say that you should get, hey, big boy, that's just the train. So I guess it's important to say that you should get to the airport about two hours early. If you like me, then you're going to be there about an hour early because I know the planes, I know how they work. So, but I suggest you get there two hours early. Um, if you're traveling with a puppy, I would suggest bringing extra pee pads, uh, maybe a little blanket to cover them up just to keep them calm on the plane. Of course, you're going to need a TSA approved travel carrying case, which is this. Um, and then maybe like a chew toy or something to keep the pup busy because um, that's really what's most important. Long flights, if you got a layover, I would definitely suggest finding a restroom anytime you can. This is a short flight, so we don't really have to worry about that. Two hours. Uh, he should be Gucci. Um, what else? What else? Yeah, so make sure you got your baby wipes, a towel, a blanket, pee pads, your traveling case. And yeah, now let's go get this dog checked in and keep it going. All right, so like I said, you're going to want to make sure you get to the airport early. I forgot that it was holiday season. Hectic in here. So the next thing you want to get to is your ticketing, your airline ticketing counter. Um, they're going to be able to weigh your dog, check them in and then you pay the pet fee. Depending on which airline you go with, uh, I know American is like 120, I think Delta is 90. So yeah, let's get it. And this is this we flying with American. So here we are. All right, so once you checked in your pet, they are gonna give you a boarding pass for your pet. Like I said, I think my fee was 125 for American. I should also mention you should make sure that your pet uses the bathroom before all of this. I did that and Big Boy still used the bathroom inside his cage, which this is actually the first time that this has happened. I'm surprised he did it, but hopefully this don't be a mess, man. But let's get it onto our flight. Look at, look at the goddamn line, y'all. Sheesh. I got clear, though, so we might be all right. All right, y'all, so we made it through the gates, made it through TSA. Um, they will, they will kind of give you VIP treatment um, put, put your stuff on the belt. They kind of let you skip the line. If you got clear, that's even better. If you don't, then well, you just got to wait in the general line. Um, but once you get up front, you know, they kind of guide you through it. Uh, you hold the puppy in your hand. Um, but of course it's not going to go through the scanner. You send your stuff, stuff through the scanner as normal. And uh, yeah, you keep it moving. We always get our bag pulled because I always got a bag of kibble inside my, uh, and a big thick pack of baby wipes. So I pretty much always get pulled, but good thing I got clear. Big boy right there. He's actually really not feeling this whole process. Um, so I'm just trying to keep him comforted. 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 Um, <laughs> but yeah, off to Jacksonville. Big 
All right, y'all, so that was pretty hectic, but we made it. We here. We actually got 20 minutes before boarding, so Gucci. They actually put us on the nice side. We got Wolfgang Puck over here. Got nice chairs and comfortable. Yeah, hey, we doing all right, baby. Big boy. All right, so we going on the plane. Big boy kind of calm and chill right now. Hopefully he remain like that on the plane. Two hours. Let's get it. All right, so, so we just landed. Big boy. Uh, his his new owner is already here at baggage claim, so we got to go find baggage claim. I want to take big boy to the restroom real quick to uh, clean him up, just make sure he not all, you know, messy, and I want baby wipe him down. He did have a bath last night, but um, like I told y'all, he used the bathroom in his joint before we even got on the plane, so... You know, I just want to make sure he's, you know, I don't want to be smelling like shit, shit when I break. All right, so, so we on our way to Badger's Claim. Big boy. All right, so, so my phone cut off because I was my partner. She was trying to make sure we landed and everything. But, um, yeah, we got Big Boy wiped down. We going to Badger's Claim now. Big boy, you about to meet your new your new homies man uh so yeah let's go let's go find big boy new people hey look shout out to her too because she hit me up like three or four days ago and was like i want to grab she was like i want to grab big boy how soon can you get him to me i was like hey let's get it popping so here we are baby jacksonville turned up big boy it's our french boutique way baby All uh, right, so y'all know we won't be spending Christmas with Big Boy, so I got him some really good treats he could open up on Christmas. Um, and we also always give one of our customers a exotic fringy boutique cat. I got a black one, and I got a brown one from her to, for her to choose from. Um, we also give the full bag of kibble, of which we are currently feeding the pups. And then, of course, you know all your welcome home, AKC registration paperwork, pack of baby wipes, Big Boy, your people here. Let me wipe your face down, my boy, so you look good for them. All right, let's go, my boy. Let's get it. All right, so now we just need to figure out which baggage. Oh, there she is right there. Sweet. All right, we'll be back, y'all. All right, y'all, so everything went good. She brought the whole family out to come pick big boy up. She was super excited. I was super excited. So, yeah, man, like, uh, that was really good. And big boy did, big boy did a lot better than on the plane than I thought he was going to do. Granted, he used the bathroom early on, but he didn't make any, I, I, I guess I already know that. All of our pumps are pretty, uh, all of our pumps are pretty well temperamented, if that's a word. They, they all got good temperaments. They all got good manners. So I don't really never worry too much about that. I know they get uncomfortable or just, you know, it'd be their first time. So that'd be more so what I'd be worried about. But there's never no issue with our pups, man. This is our friendship boutique. So I'm about to do, you know what I'm about to do. I'm outside. I'm about to get it in right quick. Uh, I probably got about two hours before I get back on the plane. I get to see some palm trees for a little bit, walk around, get my mind right. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, man, appreciate everybody watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, I'm, about, I'm back. I told you I'm back, baby. So we dropping videos back to back. Then I got another one coming because we about to go drop Panda off. This is my lady calling. I'll be back. All right, y'all, so I just finished doing what I do, right? But I got to hurry up and go upstairs because I pushed it to the limit because I thought I was good and just realized I don't even have a boarding pass going back because they got me as traveling with a pet, but it was only one way, but I didn't tell them that. So I need to go get a boarding pass. It's, it's like 11 o'clock. My flight leave at 12 o'clock. Yeah. It's a good thing I got priority because 
<laughs> yeah. All right, we good to go, y'all. Got that pass. Still got time. Hopefully they got clear here. If they don't got clear here, I'm gonna be ass. But hopefully they got clear. All right, y'all. We good to go. I see y'all on the other side. I'll probably get some footage of the other pups when I get back. Got my little snacky snack. Ooh, that was a wrap. Damn, I'll be spitting bars. But anyway, <laughs> anyways, hold on. Yeah, we'll holler back. All right, y'all. We back in D.C. That's how you fly with a puppy. But, but. All right, y'all. So we back in D.C. I'm going to wrap that up. That's how you fly with a puppy. Shoot. That's how you drop a puppy off in. Where would that? Six hours. D.C. to Florida. Excuse me. Sorry about that. I can't cuss them out, y'all. Six hours. D.C. to Florida. Back in action, baby. Sorry, Frigid Boutique. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Hey, look, so I'm about to go home. I'm going to check on the other pups. I'll probably put some clips in there from whatever's going on at the house. And, uh, yeah, baby. Hey, look, man, you know we got one pup left. If you want it, holler at me, man. 540-243-6069. Sorry, Frigid Boutique. Hey, look, they had Dunkin' Donuts as soon as I got off, the, got off the airplane. So, you know, we had to make a quick pit stop right quick. But, <coughs> excuse me, time to get to it, though. We out. Merry Christmas, everybody. Y'all have fun down here with all y'all treats all over the floor. What's going on, everybody? So you know we had to do something nice for the dogs. We got them a Christmas tree, but we figured, what good is a Christmas tree with no gifts under it? So I went to PetSmart, got them a bunch of snacks and treats and all the goodies that they like. Wrapped them up individually. Ooh, look at that sweet potato right there. So I wrapped up all their treats and snacks individually. My plan was, I'm going to bag everything up, bring it downstairs, set it up by their Christmas tree, and let them out, and they was going to go crazy. Um, yeah, no. That wasn't really the case. As you see, we got Frenchies. If you got a Frenchie, you know them are some entitled sons of a... Yeah. So we had to open them up for them. So here we are opening up the gifts for them. They kind of got the hang of it once they figured out it was snacks and treats in there. They kind of did their thing. Oh, look at my boy Bruce. Big Bruce. Hey, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to everybody.